somebody Help Not just anybody Help You know I need someone Welcome back to The Price of Business. Bill Nampick here for Kevin Price. And now, one of the most important things that we have in our arsenal of tools for everyday life and business are pens. In fact, fountain pens for sure. We have the premier company right here in Houston. They are Drom Ghouls, where you can get pens, ink, and so many other gift items. We have Larry and Christine Drom Ghoul, and one of the biggest pen fans in the world of the fountain pen, that is, Mr. Jay Paxton, attorney and pen aficionado. Welcome, everyone, to the show. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Great Thank to you. see you. Very exciting. First of all, let's start with Jay. Jay, you have been a fan of the fountain pen. You have about five in your pocket right now. People can't see. But what is it that attracts you to the fun of writing with the fountain pen? Well, you know, I was listening the other day uh, to a program, and I don't remember where I heard it, Bill, but uh, someone made a statement that really stuck in my mind, and they said, what's old is new again. And as I was thinking about that, you know, we, we live in an interesting time with a lot of interesting trends. I read an article that uh, Kodak now is going to be bringing back film, some of their film that they had discontinued when digital cameras came in and they discontinued manufacturing of film. And, you know, Kodak went through a chapter 11. It's really horrible for that company. Uh, they're bringing back some of their films. In particular, they're bringing back Super 8 movie film. Uh, my 30-year-old son... Now, you're bought, talking old school, yeah, Jay. Old school. That's way old. Uh, my 30-year-old son bought a Super 8 movie camera on eBay for his girlfriend for her birthday. He paid 99 cents. And I told him, I said, what did you do that for? And he said, well, that's what she wants. She said, th- he said, that's really cool, and she's really into that. And I said, okay, I won't tell her what you paid. But uh, anyway, so what's old is new again. And, uh, you know, we also see that with vinyl records. I was going to say, I know people that are in their 20s to 30s that are big vinyl record fans. There's a resurgence of that. That's right. You know, my other kid is into vinyl records. He doesn't buy anything. He doesn't download his music anymore because, you know, that generation grew up downloading MP3 files. And those vinyl records sound better. They they really do sound better. So, So the fountain pen is just part of that. You know, it's an old technology, but there's just a uh, an appeal to be able to write with a fine instrument that's a little spring to the nib, the glisten of the ink as it goes on. You can get so many different colors, so many different varieties. It's just really cool. Exactly. And I've been enjoying the fountain pen since I met you years ago. I have five in my arsenal right now. And as you're talking about the way the ink flows and glistens on the page, it's exciting. If people haven't realized that, go to Drom Ghouls and get a fountain pen. You only have five pens? I only, What's wrong wait with a you, minute, that's, a, that's enough. Now, <laughs> you let, need let, to go see Larry and Christine today. <laughs> well, I'm looking at Larry and Christine right now. Hey, Larry, let's tell people about Drom Ghouls. You have been in the pen business, but you also have gifts and other things at your store. Tell us about your company. I'm a third generation. My, my dad and grandfather started the business in 61. My wife and I bought the business in 88, and about that time is when we got into the fountain pens. So it's been a very good business for us, and we're starting to see a lot of the younger crowd get involved in it. And also, let's tell people where you are. You're right, because people hear this show all over. You're right here in Houston, Texas. In fact, a business traveler that might be stopping in Houston may want to come by your pen store or people here in Houston. Tell them where you're at, Larry. We're in the Rice University Village right off of Kirby Drive. It's 2515 Rice Boulevard. And that's kind of a fun area to visit. And your store is just also just a great destination for people. You can go into the store and look at the pens and, and just be fascinated by the array and, and, and styles. And also, you have a, a thing, I think you call it the ink bar, where you have like, I don't know how many, hundreds of ink bottles there with all different colors and things. Tell us about the ink. Well, I mean, it, it just turned into a toy store is what it's turned into. So people come in and they'll stay for hours playing with the different colors of ink. I mean, we have several different brands and over, you know, probably 400 different colors. It's unbelievable. Also, give us an idea. A lot of times when people think, especially I'm in the real estate world, people think about the pens as gifts. They sign very important documents at the real estate closing. And certainly, Jay, as you're an attorney, you're you're signing things and people are signing things all the time. What are some of the popular brands, Larry? Mont Blanc is by far the biggest, but we carry about 45 different brands and we're getting it ready to go into a busy season with graduation, Father's Day. We're looking forward to it. In fact, two of the pens I have are, are a brand called Conklin, and I've gone to the Conklin website after buying them at your store, and I think they have a quote, for, actually Mark Twain used to use a Conklin pen, so they go back into history. 
They certainly do. We've got lots of older pens plus limited editions. And Christine, you are by the side of Larry and the team there at Dromgles. Just say a word of your observation, why the pen is so much fun, the fountain pen that is. I think that pens are fun because I, I think in the digital world, that is easy. And it, and it does allow for creativity, but not the same way that writing does. And I think that the younger generation, as well as the old, find a, a, a source of, or I guess a, a sense of creativity and an outlet that a computer in the digital world does not provide. There's something about moving your hand and doing something that it's something in the brain from the hand, head to the brain to the hand that actually allows somebody to express their personality. I'm glad you mentioned that. I was thinking about that as Jay was describing it. Creativity is so important, right, Jay? Oh, absolutely. And uh, what Christine said reminded me of a, a story I read in Pen World magazine a couple of years ago about a study that was done with college students where they tested them. Uh, they had one group that they uh, had their laptop computers in class and they took all their notes on their laptop and then others, they gave them a pen and paper and made them just take notes by handwriting. And then they tested them later on the material and the students that had written their notes with handwriting scored better on the test because when you write, it makes you think about the subject matter and think about the mental process of what you're going through with the professor saying and write it down on the paper rather than just uh, regurgitating words into a computer. Indeed, Jay, and I think all that happens in our frontal lobe. No, just kidding. I have no idea what part of <laughs> the brain is so fascinating. I mean, I, I love talking to psychologists because they start talking about different areas of the brain, and quite frankly, so much goes on in our brain, but no doubt about it, the pen is like a paintbrush to Michelangelo. It is a creative device, and it's a business tool, and it's also fun. Not only that, it's a conversation piece. As I have these great pens, people are like, oh, I really love that pen. How much was that? And let, hey Larry, let's hit the price points. Pens can be from... I've got pens starting at $3 going up to about $15,000. So we've got them in all price points. And give us an idea at the higher end. That's like a, in the world of real estate, that may, might be like a $7 million home here in Houston. But let's take an idea of that highest price point. What is it that we get with a pen that's, say, $15,000? you are you are getting a very limited pen. It's just uh, you're, you're starting to get into the jewelry end of it. So the pen is like jewelry. Now, the, the pens that I have, I love them because they look great, especially these two Conklins. I have a, a brownish and a green one. What's great about it is they look great. And the price point, I think I paid $35 for for one of them. And the first one, I guess the second one I got on sale, but the first one I paid like a 50 both the same pens. But that's why it pays to go back to Drum Ghouls a second time. <laughs> you bet. We love you. <laughs> Very nice. But no, the price points are so important. Also, tell us about the inks. People could get set up with a pen and a bottle of ink for, what would the price point be where they can have a nice pen, Christine? I think that you can walk into Drom Goals and be set up for around $50. And you have something great, and you can let that creativity, you'll, you'll throw those ballpoint pens away. <laughs> Nothing against the ballpoint pen, but it's just not as much fun. Well, a ballpoint drags. I mean, they're... They're good for duplicate forms, and they do have their use, but their place is really to write smoothly, and you there. there's no effort. I know that when I went back to school, I pulled out a fountain pen and took all my notes with it, and I didn't mind taking one single note because you just wrote. Good paper and a good pen, you just write, and it works. Jay? Absolutely. Well, there's just uh, th there's a, a smoothness, and there's also, with most fountain pens, a little bit of a bounce when you're writing in the natural movement of your hand. There's a little bit of a bounce to it. And when you, when, when you kind of bounce off of the paper, the ink flow varies. Whereas a ballpoint, it's just like writing with a nail. And there's no variation, no, there's a drag, there's no variation. And of course, you don't have all the variety of ink colors in a ballpoint. It's basically blue or black, maybe red now, or green. Jay, you, should see, you should see how Larry's looking at you. Now, okay, <laughs> let me ask you this, Larry. Without hearing about the store secrets, how many fans are like Jay? Jay is a, a big aficionado, and you're smiling as he's excited about the pens. How many people are that into pens? Lots of them. That's it, amazing, isn't it? It is very amazing. Come by and see us. And let's tell people again, Larry, where is your store? 2515 Rice Boulevard. 
That's yep. in the Rice University Village off of Kirby Drive. And the website, I guess, is under construction, but they can go to the website at some point. Yes, dromghouls.com. Dromghouls.com. With the last minute or so, Larry, Christine, or Jay, what, what lies ahead in the pen industry? Any innovations happening? Any new styles coming out? What's going on in Pen World magazine? How many magazines are there, Jay? <laughs> well, Pen World is the big one, and it's published right here in Houston. Um, as far as new developments, uh, one of the interesting things is there's an Italian company, Aurora, that just released a, um, a new uh, flexible nib pen. And they've been very popular. In fact, they're really hard to get. Uh, I've got one here because I, my dealer is sitting <laughs> next to me here. But uh, it's a nice these pen, pens, yes. they, what they did is they resurrected a technology from the 1920s or 30s with a flexible nib where you can put, uh, make your writing like it's italicized. Very nice. And that ends the segment. Let's say this, too. If someone has a fountain pen that's been sitting in their drawer, they want to revitalize, they have a pen doctor there, too, don't you, Larry? You bet. Bring it in. We'll help Where you Where have it. you ever heard of the pen doctor? Thank you so much. Once again, the address, Larry? 2515 Rice Boulevard. Very nice. In Houston, Texas, Drom Ghouls, you've been listening to The Price of Business. That was Larry, Christine, and Jay. We're coming right back with even more. Go get a pen at Drom Ghouls right now.